And this young lady I'm about to bring in, she's a four-time Grammy nominee. She's a Stella Award winner, Devil Award winner. She's an entrepreneur. <laughs> she's the one and only Ja'Kalen Carr. Hey, Ja'Kalen. Hi, how are you? All right, all right. I am so excited for you. I am so excited. Tomorrow's the big day. Yeah. Your album is about to drop. And... Um, and it's, you know, it's called Change Your Story. I stand with a little pizzazz. So I'm going to hit, like, change your story. Like, you know what I mean? I put it on. <laughs> so tell us about the new album. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Changing Your Story. I am so excited about it because um, God really pushed me to a special place. Um, and within this place, he gave me every song on the album. Um, I love this album because from the beginning to the end, it is biblical. You're going to get some type of word in each song. Uh, for example, even with Jehovah Jireh, which is my new single, and from the beginning to the end, it just talks, it, it speaks Bible, you know? And then there's Amen. a song on there about Connected to You, and it's talking about the covenant and helping us to just go beyond of having the title of I am a child of God. God wants you to know the benefits that comes with that. He wants you to know the benefits that comes with you being obedient to him. The Bible declares no good thing would he hold from them who walk uprightly. And so as you continue to do what God has instructed you to do, God is going to make sure that your life is fulfilled. And so there's just so many songs, even Canaan, which is the last song on the album. And uh, it's God sent me to Joshua chapter one, where he reminded uh, Joshua of the promise that he made the children of Israel. And that was to cross them over into the land that he promised them called Canaan. And God used me to declare, you know, whatever you find yourself in right now that represents your wilderness, you've got to know that your wilderness is not your promise. God promised you Canaan. Canaan is a mindset. Canaan can be your healing, your restoration, your freedom, whatever you need. You've got to know that it, God is not over until you access everything that God has promised you. And so that's what I love about this album, uh, Changing Your Story. So many people are excited and I'm excited. And uh, I just believe that is going to make a positive impact on God's people all across the world. Yeah, um, I mean, your 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 music is so uh, is so needed. I love it because it, as you said, pulls on the promises of God. And, and a lot of times we keep looking at who we are, or where we come from, what family we're in, and we forget sometimes that we're bought and paid for. And and Thank that's you. what I love about your music. You know that we're property of God. We're God's children. Amen. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you so much. Amen. Now, also, you got this thing going on with um, uh, Ja'Kale and beauty and makeup. I guess you put beauty first to let people know it's not just the makeup. It's beauty first. And it's the makeup, yes. right? <laughs> Yes, you know, I'm excited about it. Um, I just love helping people to feel good and great about themselves, um, both spiritually as well as naturally. And so, um, you know, my cosmetic line, I'm excited to uh, really be able to share uh, skincare, makeup, and all that good stuff with people. But I'm also releasing something before that that I'll be advertising about very soon. So you can follow me on my social media, at Ja'Kalen Card, to know what that is. So. I'm excited about it. Uh, definitely tapping into the entrepreneur side um, of Jacqueline Carr even more. Amen. So, um, so at this time, like during the pandemic and and, and uh, things are going out, like how crazy is it that God has you release an album during the pandemic? Like, <laughs> I know. Yes. You know, the interesting thing is, I recorded in October of last year before all of this happened. This is my first live album outside. Um, yeah. And I recorded in Atlanta. And so I didn't know what time we would be in or what season we would be in when God said release the album, but He knew the entire time. With that Amen. being said, you know, I even got the question Are you nervous about releasing the album with everything that is going on? And I'm like, no. 
God gave me this word. I give it back to him. So, you know, he can do what he does. And so God has just been faithful, carrying us through this entire thing. And, you know, I just feel like the people of God need this push. They need this encouragement. Yes. And um, I'm excited to be a vessel to be able to release it to them that God is changing their story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so such key words in, in your songs that that really that people can gra uh, can gravitate to. And um, uh, I thank God for for you even crossing over because you, yeah, you have such a soulful voice. I guess that's why, you know, people gravitate. I know it's an anointing, but you know what I mean? That the natural uh, thing that you got, the, the, the soulfulness in your voice. Does that come from your parents or is that just something just in you? Um. I, well, de we definitely know it's God. Um, I think he was, it, it definitely is all God um, because yeah. <laughs> I, sometimes I'm just like, you know, it, sometimes it leaves me speechless. So it, it's definitely God. Of course, God plays, you know, uh, my parents in my life to uh, help cultivate me and things of that nature. And um, so, yeah, definitely all God. Amen. You're such a leader. You know what I mean? You're such a leader. It's like God put you in the front and made you like a like a beacon light. You know, who do you I know you lean on your parents, but who do you lean on in your like you have friends that you lean on sometime or talk to about things? Absolutely. And definitely my family in general, um, you know, we come together and um, we have this strong bond and we pull each other through for something that we have to, we need to discuss or, you know, something that I, I'm dealing with, you know, I can come to them and, and we just have this um, very strong bond that we have outside of what we do because at the end of the day we're family we're still family and we don't allow the work that god has given us and uh business and things of that sort get into the way of our relationship i bless god for teaching us how to balance it all how to still have compassion how to still hold each other accountable and still support each other and so yeah definitely my family Amen. So on, on this new album that's, that's about to drop tomorrow, who did you do any collabs with? Who, who did you collaborate with? Well, this album is all Ja'Kalen Carr. <laughs> wow! <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this, this shake on the me, me, Lord. <laughs> no, I'm joking <laughs> with you. <laughs> no, for real. Wow. I, I'm, I'm really surprised because Everybody loves you. You know what I mean? You, you, you're that person that everybody, if, if they say your name, they always smile first. It, it, it's like, you know, oh. you're J.K. And, and I'm just surprised that, because I, I see so many people collaborating right now. I've seen, um, you know, Go, she just, you know, collaborated. It's a, it's a lot of people out here just, you know, um, Erica and, and, you know, everybody doing a lot of things with Jonathan McGrill and everything. And I'm really surprised that she, like, that she said it straight through. Wow. That's beautiful, yes, though. Um, absolutely. <laughs> amen. Uh, but but you know, I want you to know that we are we are definitely spending uh, Jehovah. As I, uh, I always tell everybody who I talk to, that we're on a secular station, and people gravitate to your music. I mean, um, and it's just I know certain artists are called for that realm, but but they really gravitate to your stuff. And it's is I want you to know that. The, the second side of Philadelphia loves you. <laughs> you know? Thank you so much. <laughs> no, it's really something. They they, they really do. Um, even some of my um, my co-workers at the station, they like, on uh, 92.9 FM, they like, hey, look, who, who's that young lady? Who's this one? And you know, and you're one of the people who they, who they act about. So we love spending you. We're going to keep on spending it. And we appreciate you stopping, um, you know, stopping by our praise union today. And, and you said that they can follow you on your um, Instagram page, right? Absolutely. So you can follow me on our social media is at Jaqueline Carr. That's for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. J-E-K-A-L-Y-N-C-A-R-R. -R. Look for the blue check mark behind my name. If it's not there, uh -oh. it's not me. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the Change Your Story album. <laughs> 
Um, you can download it. Download it on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. You can get the hard copy from Amazon. You can also watch the live video of, the, of that night of the recording of Changing Your Story and Jehovah Jai on my YouTube channel, Jekaylyn Carr, J-E-K-A-L-Y-N-C-A-R-R. Amen. All right, look, Jekaylyn, we thank you. Thanks for coming on. Please enjoy the rest of your day. You look beautiful. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Thank you for always supporting me, and may God bless you. Amen. God bless. Have a good one. When the world can be so cold outside I need a place to rest my mind and in your presence is where I find the fullness of joy So that it eases my troubled mind And in your presence is where I want to be That's where you teach me all, all about